So this is my uh, my team captain, the good doctor as he is known, Dr. Thomas Hall. No, he's in a book. What are you reading, doctor? So. I'm reading a book about endurance, which is fitting for when I'm sharing a room with Patrick. <laughs> well, thank you for that. You finding it enlightening? Yes, although I'm struggling to keep my eyes open, so that also seems fitting as well. Well, we'll all sleep soon. And I'm on an angled bed. This is a concept for another day. Thanks, Doctor. We'll leave you to it. Warm weather training camp, I said. Puddles, I see. Mm. So the good doctor here has uh, a little bit of an achy shoulder. Don't quite know what it is yet. But um, he's taken some weight off the bow. Thomas, what, how did you describe that? Um. I said effing magical. I take that like reasonable. Yeah. And here we have the barber in his natural habitat. Thirty-two kilograms. And he only looks like something crawled inside him and slowly dying. So, Mr. Woodgate and I have just finished our match here. It's been a pretty high scoring match. Yeah, well done. Good shooting. Um, and we both finished off with a 30. In the scope, I thought um, I thought this one was maybe just out, but then I come down, slap the 10 as well. Dining room at the Gloria. So we start off with the, uh, the soup. And make a good collection of these. And then the salads.
Both of them have good, uh, good ladies. Nothing looking funny today. All nice and fresh. Got that rice for the And then you've got some tea, tea collection, and some tea. That's coffee machine. And the tea. This is us in the uh, <clears throat> Turkish car four. Somehow all foreign supermarkets have a similar vibe, similar smell. Quite like these things. Random baskets of unhealthy things. Do you want to call again, Bob? Yeah. Okay. Good signs. One, two, three. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Three, one, three, one, two, two, three, one, 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 three, two, one, three, one, two. Eleven fifty-nine. Bb. Ah, this reminds me of. Um... Do you want to do the pillow dance? <laughs> now we've got it's, uh, Tom the Barb Barber, fifteen dollars. Far too deliberate here. Yeah. Oh, he's getting into a stride. <laughs> it's like eight, it's the double eight, tap. Eight, 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 seven. Eight, seven. Right, easy, easy. Oops. We're talking speed draw. <laughs> you have to get the hands Fast floppy. Draw. Oh! <laughs> right? Okay. Come on, Chad. Come on. Yeah. C, Three, C, two, two one, go. Yes, yes. That's it. In the face. Yes. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, yes. 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 Oh. Don't give up. That was still a good You're time. Still, yeah. yeah, still very good. No, I put two on. That's why. Going for a job in the casino. 594. It's just because he's just used yeah. to partner with money like that. <laughs> <laughs> I get all my dollar out. Get on my dollar. Oh, yeah. You do look like a bit of a geezer. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wearing your chains tonight. Uh, no, I'll put my chains off. Like, leave me in the room so I can go back and be like, oh. You do look very rude. Rude boy. Wow. Well, thank you, guys. That was... What the hell? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right, let's try not to swear while the camera's on you. <laughs> So Thomas has got a sore, achy shoulder clavicle, clavicle combination region. So he's lying on my bed of spikes, which I use for recreational enjoyment and muscular release. Thomas, however, is made of cotton wool and pain. And when he lies in the spikes, he makes funny noises. He's How even the hell do you put your chest on this? Honestly. The chest is not easy. No. But the back is... I, I just don't care anymore. I think I think my nipple might be gone. Oh, I well. think I might have lost it forever. You've still got another one, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good job I carry a spare around. <laughs> this is the view from my balcony. As you can see, this is a sports truck. We do our morning activation underneath those stands, 100 meter indoor pitch. 
this, uh, this little track goes all the way around the um, around the facility. So the football pitch over there, you can see in the distance. This is all golf. See some mountains over there. That's towards Antalya. And then come around this way. See some more mountains. Hmm. There you go. Well. There's definitely worse ways to start a Monday morning. Yeah, I could deal with this. Mr. Stubbs here practicing 50 meter. And then the recalves over here practicing 70 meter. Yeah, Our performance. This is an exercise Thomas does to make his arms longer. He will shoot a 32 inch draw length by the time we get to Paris. Strong, he has to do extra weight to pull up. And this is why he shoots 75 pounds. Oh, he's going for more. Just in case you didn't know he was muscly enough, he's taken his top off. Just to step up and down on a block. Really? Necessary? He is the most shredded person in here though. So here at the Gloria there, they're very kind, very welcoming, very friendly. We even get a morning um, coffee break. Alberto goes off, places the order and they bring it out. I do wonder, however, how much sugar do they think we need? You know, you've got five hot drinks, sorry, four hot drinks, one's a tea, well, might be a tea, at the moment it's just hot water, some orange juice, and about a dozen, dozen and a half sugars, maybe even more, let's count them, one, two, three, I'm a sweetener, four, five, six, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 sugars, 4 drinks. Well, we get 4 sugars each. Keep us going for a while. This is my last walk down here, at least for this trip. Well, then again, they might make us come train tomorrow. Departing tomorrow, I think our flight, well, we're get, leaving the hotel at 3.45. So I know we're doing a gym session tomorrow. So these are all the colors of the Olympic rings. It's all very well thought out. Good old sport. If I knew more about sport, I'd probably be able to tell you who these people were, but uh, I don't. So there you are. Swimming pool there, he's walking past. The wee recreational swimming pool on this side. That way up the gym. Give it a wee fun swimming pool here. There's the diving boards being worked on. More sport. Well, water sport. I think that one's Michael Phelps. I think I know that. So as we come out here, we've got a climbing wall around behind there. And then on this side, we've got the swimming pool that's also the diving pool. And then the swimming pool where the swimmers are. In my days, is there a lot of swimmers here. Awful lot of swimmers. Well, fair enough. Swimmer's got to swim. Archer's got to arch. The target needs a little bit of repair work. We're two different size target faces and they're a little bit uh, off center. So I'm not entirely sure how, how this will work with me doing it. I've seen a lot of people doing it with mallets. We're jumping on it. Oh God, God. let it live. The, uh, the last day of the camp, I've taken a slight victory that I've beaten Thomas out of the bedroom. I'm going down to breakfast now. It's been a long camp, good, good training done, good training. I've uh, put on a lot of strength, put on a lot of fitness. Treatment's come on a long way. Um, very tired though, looking forward to getting home. Just lying in bed here after breakfast. Thomas is looking wistfully out into the distance, trying to discover his life's meaning. Got it yet, Thomas? No. Keep gazing. Ready? All right. 160 kilograms. <laughs> Let me explain about this gym. Just left here for a period of time. Slowly filled in. We just got to the airport here in Ontario. It's actually raining. You have an advertisement. Call this number today. I'm back, uh, back in Little Shawl after a week in Turkey, sorry, two weeks in Turkey. It's been a long time. Um, you may notice from my voice or perhaps the camera slightly, I'm, I'm shaking, I'm vibrating quite a lot. I'm stood on this, um, this power plate, got uh, 30 hertz and uh, high vibration. Basically, it's been something I've been doing a lot in my warm up, but shaking, vibrating myself. If you want to be vibrant, you need to vibrate. You need to allow your body to express the energy and Basically, your, your whole body has mechanoreceptors in it. Uh, it's a particular type of free nerve ending in your fascial system, which um, when you vibrate, you get uh, this energy and this sensation inside your body, which basically allows you to express yourself more. Um, I'm wearing the, uh, the Vivo Tracker FG boots, which are so comfortable. I'm just gonna press repeat on this because it's just so good. Vivo Tracker FG um, barefoot, barefoot boots. Um, I've been wearing my sports shoes while I've been abroad, and it's so nice to be to be back in these shoes. They're they're like outdoor slippers. They're so comfortable. See, I'll I'll talk quite a bit over the next while about the um, 
the whole vibration thing. Um, obviously, you've seen some of my breathing. Um, the breath work, Wim Hof. Um, I strongly recommend you look up maybe London Real. Um, Brian Rose does a really good job there. Um, really, really good interview with Wim Hof. W I M H O F. Um, his breath work stuff's incredible. And that combined with the, uh, the bioenergetic stuff, which Elliot Hulse talks about, it's going to be a good year.